This video will introduce you to Smart HLS Design Suite, Microchip's HLS tool offering for C++ design entry. Better designer productivity leads to faster time to market and lower development costs. This can be achieved with C++ design entry and using high-level synthesis or HLS design flow. It will reduce your design effort and schedule significantly when compared to engineers writing hardware description language and RTL. Writing C++ software code is more concise with five to 10 times fewer lines than with RTL. Software is easier to understand and modify for future improvements or maintenance when compared to RTL. Software conciseness and readability also means fewer bugs in your FPGA design. With these advantages, engineers will see a two to five times reduction in overall FPGA development time with HLS. Microchip is excited to offer the smart HLS design tool to take advantage of C++ design entry. Smart HLS accepts C++ source code as its input and outputs an RTL-based smart design component to be utilized by Libero SOC, Microchip's FPGA EVA tool environment. The C++ code can be imported or developed from within Smart HLS. Smart HLS will provide support for modification and optimization of the source code, including analysis of results through reports and visual aids. Iteration of the C++ design is supported in order to optimize performance, latency, or resource utilization. This is accomplished using constraints, pragmas, and a special leg up C++ library. The output is a smart design component ready for instantiation into a design using Libero's smart design tool. Here is the view of smart HLS when invoked. It uses the familiar Eclipse-based IDE. We'll focus on the design process steps, which are the icons at the top of the screen. Following these icons, here is the Smart HLS design flow. The first step is to invoke Smart HLS. This involves creating a project, followed by either developing or importing existing C++ code. Next is to compile the C++ and fix any errors. Now, run the C++ software to confirm functionality and to make any corrections. Optimizations can be applied using constraints and pragmas. In addition, the use of a smart HLS C++ library can be leveraged to further optimize the design. The C++ source code is now converted into hardware as structural Verilog. A tickle script is produced which imports this core into Libero to be used as a component in smart design. During optimization, the reports and visualization tools can be used as the design gets modified to meet latency, performance, resource utilization, and other system requirements. A co-simulation can be run, which simulates the RTL using model sim. A test bench is automatically generated from C++ main function, where it can be imported if an existing RTL test bench is preferred. Once optimized to your system requirements, the last step is for Smart HLS to launch Microchip's Libero design tool, which works in the background. Logic synthesis and place and root are run, resulting in reports containing resource utilization as well as FMAX. To get started with Smart HLS, please follow this link on the Microchip website you will find everything you need to work with Smart HLS. There's the software user's guide, the installation guide, and the Sobel tutorial, along with a couple of interesting white papers. Finally, go to the software download tab to request a link to the Smart HLS installer. I hope you found this brief overview of Smart HLS interesting. Thanks for watching.